A really exciting new feature that we've included in the DFMA dashboard is the ability to search and mine the DFMA data that you have created. You access the search menu by choosing the search button up here at the top of the window. And that allows you over here on the left hand side to define up to five separate searches. You can see here, I'll choose the first one, untitled search one is the name. And I'm gonna call this OneDrive DFM files. And I'm gonna make a simple search here that will look for DFM files on my OneDrive. And so now down here, I browse to the folder location where I want it to search. So I pick browse and here I'm gonna choose my OneDrive location. I'll select that folder. I could dive down to more specific folders if I wanted to. Um, and then I tell it here to traverse subfolders. So it's gonna look in all of the subfolders of my OneDrive. And then here I have to choose whether I want DFM or DFA files to be searched. And so if I choose DFM, and select search, the software will now go out to my OneDrive, find all of the DFM files that exist there. You can see it just populated the, uh, the table with the information. But more importantly, it's opening each of those files and it's pulling data out of them. And as I scroll across here in the window, you can see the titles at the top. It's got the file name, the location, dates created, part numbers, and then all of the cost manufacturing profile, weights, and material information stored in those DFM files. And so if I scroll down this list now, you can see this is the list that it has generated as a result of those searches. You can see here, plastic, uh, sorry, plate and standoffs, there are several different analyses within that same file. So each analysis tab is represented by its own line item here on the dashboard result. So that's a way you can quickly create these searches. Now, if I go back to my home screen and I open up the Manage Tiles choice, you'll see down here at the bottom, OneDrive DFM files is now a search tile. And it was previously called Untitled Search 1. If I turn that on, you can see here it's telling me there are 170 results and it was last search on 411. If I click that search, it will bring me back to that search that I've defined and I can click the search button and it will perform that search for me again. So once you've set up and defined searches to find things that you want to find, you can create shortcuts to those searches by putting them uh, on the main home window of the dashboard.